Hello. Every day I stand in here and work at my computers. Oh, poor Joey. And I stare at this guitar I made before. You may recognise it if you've been here before. It's my tiny Telecaster. But it really, really gets on my nerves. Let's have a look. So as I'm stood here, you can see here and here the strings aren't lined up properly. And there's a gap in the side of the bridge here. Uh, it's very a sub of things that I'm 100% sure weren't wrong <laughs> when I started, but they must have been. Uh, also, I made some oak coloured filler based on the colour of the wood before I finished it. Anyway, let's bring it over to the bench. So my initial aim with this project, I had a bit of an obsession. I was going to make guitars with tiny bodies that were still recognisable for what they were supposed to be. The neck dive is impossible, so that's one thing we should be able to fix here. I don't know if I've put this neck in, not straight, but it is glued in. And uh, you may never have seen <laughs> You may have never seen an access neck joint like that. It's not great. We may be able to make something better of that as well. I do like the metallic neck and backplate against the natural body. That's something I might visit again. So what are we going to have to do here? Let's get something to write on. So issue number one would be the neck dive. Issue number two, let's do something about this heel joint. Issue three this really manky filler that I've got here and on the end here. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course, the neck alignment issue. The neck itself is actually quite a good one. I got it from a guy on a guy on Facebook that imports guitars from China and then sets them up nicely. Do the logo properly as well. Yeah, I think it was a reject because there's this knot here, which I don't mind. So yeah, pretty large problems, especially the uh, <laughs> alignment and the dive. But I've got five things down. Let's see what we can do. First thing, get it taken apart. I appear to have lost the nut <laughs> already when I took the strings off. We'll find that later, I am sure. Although I used a Gibson nut on here, so I don't know, maybe that's was narrower or thinner. Anyway, because uh, when I was first shaping this, not that I made the neck, but anyway, I managed to chip off this bit here. Anyhow. Okay. Hello. So, with these two... <coughs> With these two angled iron, angle iron, it's aluminium, uh, I can see that the screw holes in the bridge are certainly not in the right place. So uh, that's one thing that's obviously out. So I'm just going to use a felt tip pen to draw down on the body. So I think I know what I've got to do. I'm going to make this a headless model. That also solve the uh, the neck knife. Um, I just need to fill holes up here. Can you see? Do you see what I see? What just fell on the floor? Is that a bloody nut again? Right, anyway. So the lines I drew down from the neck. Clearly the bridge was not in the right place. Now, that might not mean that the bridge was in the wrong place. That might mean the neck was in completely the wrong place. But we're going to go with however the neck's position now. It's also kind of comical how, uh, of the, the four screws holding in the bridge, this one here, if we look around the back, it just went into the cavity. Which also needs a bit of tidy up there, actually. Right. So on the list of things, that will solve heel joint. <laughs> Idiot. That will solve the neck dive and the neck alignment. It's going to do nothing for the heel joint. Um... So next up I'm going to look at the heel joint, which you can see is kind of 
I went initially for the full size heel block because it's a full size neck, but on the tiny body it looked ridiculous. Having this slope kind of helped, but I'm wondering if I might round it off a bit, see what happens. Right, quick change of camera because the battery's run out. What I'm, what I'm going to do, I think, to start with is round off this down to there and round this off so it's less geometric. And then the anniversary one comes there. <laughs> We now go down in a curve. It's not ideal, but it's, I'm a lot happier with that now. Right, having established where the centre line should be, I think I'm just going to put the pickup in the hole. I'm going to need to bring this pocket over a bit. And there was a bit where the router slipped here. I just need to sort that out. Rather large opening, but we now have the clearance for it not to look too absurd. Right, so headstock dilemmas. I'll just take it off to here, which unfortunately leaves us with this bit here, which is perfectly pluggable, but won't look very nice. Um, and then I've got to trim off some of the width which is fine, except the curve is slightly different on each side, so I've drawn that in here. So I'm, I need to glue the dowel in, then attack it with a bandsaw. So with that, that dry, I chop it off, and then I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to the purple headstock and put a maple veneer over it, because it would just look awful otherwise. So thankfully I've got this old maple from a, another project. Operating a saw when you're reaching through the tripod. Not as easy as you might think. Okay, so what I've done, <clears throat> I cut a square of veneer, I attached a foam pad to it using uh, super glue and masking tape, and I squeezed the head out of it. We're going to see <laughs> now how well that paid off. Looks alright, actually. Let's try and get this apart. Wow, well, bugger me, that's worked. It looks like it's followed the curve perfectly. I'm just going to try and slice around the edge. Couldn't be happier with it. Let's see if I can... So that's followed that curve perfectly. Excellent. Let's check out the back. Looks pretty flat to me. That was both awesome and <laughs> terrifying. Um, we now have a headless thing on there. The weird thing is, the bit that cut off, I must have literally... Oh, there's not enough space to get that around. There's a hole that side, but not that side. I must have literally just got it on the edge of the hole. Anyway, let's clean that up. Get some drilled hold, drills hold. Drills hold? Let's get some holes drilled, and then we can move on to the other end of the guitar. Right, so I've done the sides and the alcoves first. Alcoves? Uh, whatever this bit is called. Um, because... It's always the hardest bit to do the edge, then you get bored of it. So now I'll just do the top and the bottom, and then we'll see about making this a much nicer colour. So 
So it might be an experiment to start with, but I'm going to use some India ink to try and just cover the whole thing up, make it total jet black, because I think trying to do anything special with the filler is going to be a, a hiding to nowhere. We've got a reasonable coverage everywhere, especially over the crappy filler. We, um, when it dries, we'll see if it all rubs off again, but I think that's going to look awesome. So the ink's dried. I've wiped over it with a cloth to get to make sure it doesn't all just come off again. Some of it did, but that's fine. And on top, I'm going to put some crimson. Well, it says the high build oil, but it but it had dried up a bit, so I've just watered it down with some white spirit, or white spirited it down. Right, wax on, wax off. And you know what? We're going to leave it there for now while this cures. Um, and there's going to be a part two to this where I assemble it and hopefully play a song on it. So uh, stick around for the next part. See you later. <laughs>